Kia ora year 12 and 13. Here's question 3 from last year's integration exam. Um, this video is going to have parts A, B and C in it. Okay, so it's going to be pretty straightforward. Um, two achieved questions and then a merit question. Okay, the first one, find this integral. So we want to start out by expanding what's in those brackets. So it's going to be x squared plus 8x plus 16 plus 8 b to the power of 4x dx. Okay, so it's just an antiderivative, just about at your 12, le 12 level. So 1 third of x cubed plus 4x squared. Remember there's an invisible 1 there, so it goes up to a squared, plus 16x. Now looking at this next bit, we know we're going to want to have e to the 4x in our answer. Right, when I differentiate that using the chain rule, it's going to give me 4e to the 4x, but I want to have 8e, so I need to times it by 2, plus c. Remember, you always, always check back, something like this, there's no need to get it wrong. Okay, on to part b. Right, the graph of the function y equals f of x below is symmetrical about the y-axis. The areas of the shaded regions are given. So this question is asking you to find an integral. It's not asking you to find an area. So just be, be careful to remember that area will always be a positive. But what this is saying, so for example this bit here, well we don't know what the limits are, but between 0 and k here, the integral is negative 0.3 because it's below the x-axis. Right, the area, the signed area, is 0.3. Right, but because we're finding the integral of f of x dx, what we want to do is to work out that integral, that one, that one, that one, that one, and that one. So, we know the function's symmetric. So the integral of all of those things will go like this. So I'm going to start from the top end, up here, negative 0.1 plus, well we know that that's 0.9, so by symmetry that's 0.9. So plus 0.9, this bit here is negative 0.3 for the integral, so minus 0.3, minus 0.3 for this bit here, plus 0.9 for that last bit, and then minus 0.1 there. All right, so just quickly checking that we've got all of the bits, we should have six separate integrals. One, two, three, four. Four of them are going to be negative. One, two, three, and four. And two, these two bumps are going to be the positive 0.9, so adding all of that up, we should get one. Okay, so that was... An achieved question that just required you to understand the difference between an integral, which can be positive or negative, and an area. Okay, on to the merit question. Right, find an expression in terms of k for the area bounded by the function y equals sine kx in the x-axis between 0, x equals 0, and x equals pi on k. In other words, figure out the shaded bit there. And you must use calculus and give the results of any integration needed to solve the problem. So the area is going to be from pi on k to 0 of sine kx dx. Right. So anti-differentiating, we're going to have something times cos of kx. Now cos differentiates to give us sine. So we're going to want to have negative, and cos of kx differentiates to give us k, negative k sine kx. So we need to multiply through by a factor of 1 over k. And we're evaluating that between these limits of integration. Now I'm just going to show you a way to clean that up, um, which is to take this constant term outside the integral. So we get negative 1 over k times this. 
it's fine not to do that, but it, once you've got used to doing it, it saves a little bit of um, manipulation. So that's going to equal negative 1 over k at cos of k times pi over k is pi minus cos of 0. Right, I'll just go and do the rest of it up here. So that equals negative 1 over k times, well let's think about what cos of pi is. So it's negative 1 minus 1 which equals negative 1 times negative 2 over k, which is 2 over k. So there you go. So I reckon that's a pretty easy merits question. Um, okay, the next video is going to look at the last part of last year's question 3. Um, that'll be coming up soon. Thanks for watching.